You might not like it, but this is what peak Milsim experience looks like. Elvis everybody. Elvis. Elvis is still the king. Yeah, the king. We're all walking on the path of peace and harmony towards Graceland. If you accept Elvis in your heart and you find him there, you listen and sing with the king. Elvis, it hunk a hunk of burns when I pee. What do I do? You should probably take penicillin. Roger. Oh boy. So the most handsomest president was most handsomely assassinated uh, in his little parade. Worst parade ever, no floats, no inflatable Snoopy. I'm glad he got schwacked, good for him. Next time I have a better parade. So it's about 7.30 right now, the sun is setting, uh, which means once the sun goes down, everyone's gonna get their last bits of partying out, and there's probably gonna be a lot more night shenanigans uh, up into the wee hours of the morning. I don't think a lot of my guys are gonna sleep. Everyone took naps all day. Everyone took naps all day. Like the whole town was asleep from like 1 to 4 p.m. basically. Uh, so let's see how this last bit goes. And then we clean up tomorrow. Well, once the sun comes up, we start cleaning, figure out what our last big battle for the event is. Just figure it out. Two pair jacks, pair jacks, two pair of kings, two pair. He was bluffing. So my three of a kind beat your two pair. I think I was betting with his chips. Later. Thanks for showing us around. So at 10.30, they imposed a curfew. So if you were pretty much out, like, in the general, if you were beyond, like, the general vicinity of your building, you are probably going to get shot uh, and mist mistaken for, like, an enemy or whatever, which was pretty funny. So the Saturday thing, like, the Saturday night thing was always cracking. I mean, like, Saturday night, Bill and West, you already know what's up. Uh, dudes down here, like, at the other end of the building, decided to light a campfire. So they were ejected, and that sort of put the kibosh on the raid vibe. Usually, if you're not familiar with Milsim West, uh, if there's like so, some cool raids and battles and stuff going on, some sort of rule breaking, like a campfire or something like that, will kill the vibe, and then there will be no more raiding, because everyone's like, fuck it, let's go back to bed. So three in the morning, we were supposed to get raided allegedly by the Wagner group. That never happened. We stayed up till the sun came up, alternating in watch shifts. No one wanted to fuck with us because we are the Uwu. And uh, now there's anarchy in the streets, as evident by Nick's pink shirt. Now there's absolute anarchy in the streets because everyone's bored as shit, waiting for the big final battle, because uh, we don't know what that's going to be. So everyone's just sort of like jokingly shooting each other. Okay, I'm going to clean up now. I'm tactical. I have died assisting the FSB. As has Samantha and Mikey. All hope is lost. Uh, I'm probably gonna get up and just go back to the casino in a minute. Put your arm up. Ooh, look, at, look at him! Look at him! Just get out of here! Oh get out of here! Go! Let's just add me walk back to the casino. Watch this. Okay, bye. I'm dead. We we're mercilessly cut down. We didn't stand a chance, and there was also some confusion on where the uh, field limit was. So, fuck that. So now. So now, I have my tea, my Cheez-Its, and my snack. 
I would just sit around and wait for the AAR. Because my fucking knees hurt. So does my back. And I'm a little sunburnt. I have to poop. There were certain areas that couldn't be shot or raided, and that's just simply not true. Right? Yeah. They're, they're, that's just not true at all. If you bring stuff to this event, there is no expectation of you not being shot in any space in this event, right? Or anything be shot. And that's simply because it would be impossible to police that. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the cadre are hard pressed enough trying to hand out NPC storylines to 600 people. We'll all make sure that people who don't read English don't start campfires. You guys understand what I'm saying? You guys understand what I'm saying? Right? While, while me and my, my boss, Brian Clarkson, are trying to keep wholesome Victorville families of 30 from driving their RVs through here and trespassing, right? So, you know, we stay pretty busy just trying to do that. We did it! Yay! Yay! Manny, Manny got fucked up! We did it! Uh, I don't think we won anything. I don't think we lost anything. I lost an eyebrow. Uh, Manning lost an eyebrow. So, we're gonna go get a shower. Because I want to see what that looks like. What that looks like. Uh, in a public setting. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. And then, cross your fucking fingers, kids. Because bonus content might be... Uh, this e-bike trip I might have to take to try and get some inventory so we don't have to wait for it to ship That was the whole reason why I was able to justify, you know, using the company truck. So Yay! Good percentage-wise Stricker has Dang, it's like a mystery uh, box. What does it look like? Box. There's no question about it. Oh, God Oh, oh that is kind of fucked up actually Hmm Per Milson was tradition, it's shower time. Yes. 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 A few moments later. Bonus content. We have arrived at Evike, and I have a sneaking suspicion uh, what I want to happen. Not gonna happen. Let's hope it happens. So I'm, Jer I'm trying to pick up some online vendor orders. I think they're gonna tell me to screw myself. A few moments later. Well, because you didn't pray hard enough to the airsoft gods, I wasn't able to get my order. Also, because they don't do that, because it's two different departments, but I got 16 bottles of 2.5 tracers. So that's cool, right? Beef! Kaber, who the f are you, nerd?